Yo, welcome back to the channel. Sorry guys, I haven't been posting much. Uh, I've been like below zero and zero and a couple single digits here in uh, Denton, Texas. So no parts, nothing's being shipped. Probably for another couple weeks. Um, all the parts I had ordered was supposed to be in here last week. Uh, some parts are supposed to be here this week, but I know nothing is going to be uh, delivered. Uh, it was some some more stuff for the front because uh, the rotors, the rotors I have, I don't think they're going to work. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna try um, uh, another type of uh, rotor instead of using these here. Uh, I have a buddy that has an SS, so I'll probably just give him give him these. And uh, I'm gonna order some different ones that's a little bit flatter because I want it. I want it to be. I want it to be perfect. I don't want to try to jerry rig some stuff. I want it to be straight bolt on. And uh, the CTS and the CTS V hubs are ex the same. It's just the inner spline because of the axles are different, but the fronts are. You can put them side by side. They're the same. Some of them do have like a little, I guess it's a speed sensor or something inside of them. But I'm not sure uh, what's, what's, it has a wire on the back. I'm not sure what it does. But um, they're pretty much the same. So what I'm thinking about doing is going with the CTSV uh, rotors, which I should have done at the beginning. Uh, but I wanted to see if I could just keep them all the same because then I remember. Now I know the CTSV and the SS rear hubs are exactly, uh, the rear rotors are exactly the same. I didn't know that the front was a little different. Um, the offset is different. Uh, live and learn. So I'm waiting on that. I did post the engine out of here for sale, the 3.0 liter. And also I have posted the, um, the black, CTS right there, that that new hickey right there. I posted that for for sale also. But I came up here to make sure that everything is okay. I have uh, uh, all the cars running. Uh, I have my scooter running, but I turned it off so I could uh, just make sure everything is okay. And it's uh, yeah, it's freezing here right now. But it's not as bad. It's not as bad if it was sitting outside. But it is uh, still pretty cold. Uh, other than that, I just wanted to give you guys an update, and sorry for the, the short video. Uh, nothing else has been going on with the CTS. I am working on the seats uh, wiring because they're a little bit uh, different because uh, of the, the plugs. The This seat is more of like the CTS-V or premium, and the seats I had in there is for like basic model. So. I just have to wire this. This is all, all ready to go here. This is ready to go. I just have to splice some wires in the seat and get those going and also for that seat as well. The And that's pretty much it. Only thing I don't, I'm not gonna have working at this moment is the navigation, but everything else, everything else works in it. So I'm good with that. Um, because I, I believe, even though this is a wagon and this is a sedan, I believe this car is heavier because one, it's all wheel drive and it has a shit ton more of uh, wires inside of it than uh, my old hoopty here. Because when I took this apart and pulled the carpet out, I hardly had any wiring. But that one over there, whoo, boy, <laughs> it's got a lot of wiring. Um, but I just want to give you guys an update and see where I'm at. Uh, Element doing okay. I haven't have any problems with it yet. Besides, uh, I did get uh, I did go out one day. I think it was yesterday or day before yesterday, and uh, uh, it seemed like the battery was drained. And I know it's not. It's probably do something to the the cold air. Uh, I'm not used to it. So I went ahead and just put a jumper on it real quick, and it and it fired right up. So I was I was okay with that. So now I just keep a, actually, let me go ahead and grab it. Um, keep this uh, battery charger or tender. This, uh, cause I have these on there. I put it on there and it worked great. I need to put one on my truck. Cause when I just started it right now, 
it did hesitate like the battery was low so I need to put a um, charger on there too I think that's what I'm gonna do right now I think I have another one somewhere around here oh I think it's in the back of this car gosh darn it uh, I'll do it another time so it's been running for a while um, I hope I had opened the door too so I want to get the uh, exhaust uh, suffocations suffocations <laughs> But uh, other than that, guys, I want to just, you know, keep you guys informed on what's going on. I kind of wanted to come here tonight and start pulling the whole front end off and start pulling some of the stuff off. Um, that's what I, I kind of wanted to do. But my hands hurt. Because <laughs> they go. <laughs> and uh, I need to clean off that top shelf because I got to put parts and clean this Actually, I want to drop this shelf down a little bit lower so I can start putting all these parts up there and uh, get everything ready to go Go with it. Uh, so other than that, I, until this uh, weather breaks up, I believe it's supposed to break up around next Tuesday. So this weekend, I probably, probably still won't do anything. I probably end up just regular Go to, go to work. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Probably, unless they cut the power off again. Uh, they've been cutting the power off and the internet off like crazy. So, uh, until then, guys, uh, bear with me. <laughs> I am looking for other projects. I've been on everything faithfully. Uh, Facebook, Craigslist, uh, offer up, all that good stuff. If I can sell these, sell that car. And this engine out of here, I have some money to maybe buy another project or something I could get going. So you guys won't be bored to death. Because uh, this one's, I want to kind of want, I don't want to take my, I want to take my time on it, but then I don't. Because if I take my time on it, it'll probably sit here another two years. And I don't want that to happen. I want to get it out as soon as possible. I was hoping to just, you know, have the, the brakes done or wheels and just drive the Joker. But the, the uh, engine it's throwing a code and it's for uh, one of the cam sensors bank two sensor one bank two or something like that um i don't feel like mess with that so i'm just gonna cut it off from there and and uh that's it so until next time guys please comment like subscribe and i will see you later